I just remember being in that seat thinking, if only that could be me, God, if you just choose me, whatever you tell me to do, I'll do it. And whatever you give me, I'll be faithful with it. Welcome to the Intertwined Life Podcast. I'm your host, Jenny Zentz. I am a wife and a mom on a mission. I've got a passion to help women discover practical ways to apply the power of God's word to our everyday stuff. I truly believe that our walks with the Lord should be seamlessly intertwined with our everyday lives. It should affect every move we make and every breath we take. So come on, let's do life together. You've got this, because He's got you. All right, guys, it's so good to be back with you after a little hiatus. I am excited to bring you today's interview. Today, we are talking with Jamie Cross. Jamie is the founder and CEO of the MIG Living Company. And if you haven't heard of this company, chances are you will be hearing of it very soon. Jamie is on the forefront of a true beauty movement. Years ago, Jamie asked God for a billion dollar idea to change the life of not only her family, but the world. And and days later, she had a dream where she saw this company come together. You're going to hear her story. It is so powerful. But Jamie is so real. She is beautiful inside and out. And she is working to inspire women all around the globe to step into the calling that the Lord has on their life. That is the true intention and desire of her heart to see people truly rise up and become, become what God desires them to be, what he planned for them to be from the very beginning when he created them in his own image and planted seeds of, of greatness in their heart hearts that reflect all that he is. And I am excited to bring you this episode today because Jamie is, she's fun. She's awesome. She is the mother of five boys. That's right. Not only is she this world changing entrepreneur, female CEO, rocking this calling God's put on her life, but she is the mom of five boys. That is a calling that is just above and beyond. That alone would be enough reason to have her on this show. <laughs> so I am so excited to bring you this interview. It was an honor to speak with her. And stay tuned because throughout this episode, I'm going to interrupt to bring you a really special and exciting announcement that if you are local, you may even get to meet Jamie in person. And trust me, after listening to this interview, you're going to fall in love with her. You're going to want to follow her everywhere. And you're probably going to really, really, really want to jump on the opportunity to to come and meet her for yourself. So that special announcement's coming in the middle of this episode. But for now, here is my interview with Jamie Cross. Jamie Cross, welcome to the Intertwined Life podcast. It is such an honor to have you here. Thank you, Jenny, for having me. It's great my, to be here. Oh, my pleasure. I am excited. So Jamie is the founder and CEO. Is that the right title? Sure. Yes. Sure. Who doesn't <laughs> want to be a CEO <laughs> of the MIG Living Company? And she and her company are really leading a true beauty movement that is changing the way people do skincare. And I would say also the way they do a lot of other areas of their lives as well. And Jamie's an inspiration to so many already. So I'm excited to introduce her to my listeners here and just mm -hmm. hopefully continue to grow what the Lord is doing in and through Jamie as it gets around the globe, right? And I'm going to, oh, my pleasure. So I'm going to have Jamie share more about herself, her story, but I've been keeping an eye on it from a distance because I've got a lot of great friends here on Florida Space Coast who are involved with MIG and I've been kind of watching it been watching Facebook, kind of stalking her <laughs> using <laughs> some of the products, which I love. And so it's been a lot of fun to watch the journey. So I'm really excited to actually personally connect. So Jamie, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Are you are in Colorado, right? Or usually? Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Yep. I love how Zoom gives us that technology to like connect from all over the world. It's crazy, right? So true. All right. Well, Jamie, why don't you tell us about yourself? Just start off with who's Jamie, your family, your life, hobbies, passions, whatever you want to yes. share. Yeah. Well, we just had our fifth baby boy. My husband and I have been married. Oh my um, gosh. Wait, pause. Five boys? Yes. I knew yes. you had four or five kids. I did not know. Wow. Okay. You're even more mighty and powerful. Than <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. Yeah, awesome. Know, 
I never, um, I never had this deep desire to like, oh, you know, we, I kept trying, thinking we would have a girl just for my husband's sake, but we're both so excited to have boys, but we'll celebrate 18 years of marriage, the end of this month. So it's been almost 20 years of knowing him. And I was saved at the age of five and I've had a close uh, relationship with the Lord my entire life. And um, ultimately, I believe that that is where I have been able to, you know, bear fruit in my life because of that relationship. And so, um, but we're being active. We're being Colorado people. We're active. We love to be outside, love to do all the things outside. And, um, but we love to serve people. And our passion is to, to build people and to see them um, rise in their full potential. Awesome. So we do that through business and ministry. Definitely. Which is a beautiful combination when those two cross paths. Right. And I always want to encourage people right there, no matter what your business is, your ministry is right where you are. Right. And whatever that business is, doesn't have to be on a stage teaching the word or leading worship. You are in ministry everywhere you go. So it's, and that's the name of the podcast, right? The intertwined life and where everyday life and our walk with the Lord meet and they shouldn't be two separate things. And you are, you're living that out so beautifully in your personal life, but also in the mission of your business. So I am excited for you to share what your business is. And I love the story of how your business started. So for those who have never heard of MIG Living at all, what do you got to tell them? Yeah, so MIG was birthed from a place of pain more than 10 years ago now. It was 2010. I had, and it's funny because I've told the story so much. Um, I think, man, everybody's heard it, but... uh, for all of you that haven't heard the story, yeah. you know, I was, had come out of corporate banking, making really good money. And we decided that we were going to put everything on the line and give up that, that paycheck so that I could come home and be a full-time mom. And uh, two and a half years into motherhood and full-time motherhood, I, I think, you know, especially now, 10 years later, all the women that I've talked to, um, I think a lot of women can relate, but I was feeling very uh empty which was kind of this bitter you know I I was so satisfied as a mother but I knew that I was supposed to build something I knew that there was more and of course there was a financial struggle so one night it was the week where like everything was going wrong utility companies calling saying when are you going to make your payment we're going to shut your utilities off debit card declining at the grocery store crying babies you know all Mm. the things and I just went to bed one night in, in total pain saying, God, you got to, you got to help me here and show me yeah. um, a way out. And so I just cried out to him and said, God, show me a billion dollar idea so that I can change the world and leave a legacy for my family and went to church on Sunday, pastor, you know, preaching and teaching stops the sermon and just looks around the room and says, you know, this has never happened happened to me before but the Lord just spoke to my heart and said that there's a stay-at-home mom here who he wants to give a billion dollar idea to so get ready for it and so that was like God yeah I just remember being in that seat thinking if only that could be me God if you just choose me whatever you tell me to do I'll do it and whatever you give me I'll be faithful with it just show me and so I had a dream not too long after that and saw this whole business blueprint, it was like I was pouring oils and there were these giant vats and the name MIG came up out of the oils. And when I woke up, I told Nathan, I'm going to start a skincare company. And so formulated, oh. spent a year just studying chemistry and herbal alchemy and um, Amazing. naturopathic healing and 2 a.m. feedings and nursings <laughs> and like studying and oh, uh, did that first product and then hit the ground running after a year with a bar of soap, yeah. walked in stores, talking to owners and buyers, Denver and Colorado Springs and all throughout Colorado. And, and that, that was the beginning. So gosh, it's so amazing. And I've heard that story several times, but it does not get old. So never feel <laughs> like you shouldn't tell it again because there's so much power in it. And I mean, you know, think about the scripture, how many times do we read it? Right. And it doesn't get old because it's the work of God. 
And this is the work of God in your life. And every time I hear your story, it gives me chills. It gives me renewed faith. It gives me like inspiration. So just keep telling that story because it is so powerful because it's not you, it's him. Right. And the more you know that, the more, the more glory he gets for that. So keep telling that story because it doesn't get old. It does not get old. It's so good. And oh, thank you. I love it. I love what you're doing. So let me ask you really quickly, was skincare something prior to this dream that had ever entered your mind? No, I was in banking. I was a, (laughs) I had my series, my securities license. I was doing financial, like investment stuff and that was my world corporate stuff but I was always really passionate as a matter of fact one of my senior pictures I remember you know I had all my bath and body works products so I was always like a product (laughs) junkie yeah but I was never on that side of like um I remember I think I was 14 or 15 reading a, a 17 magazine and there was this recipe in there for like a mask that you could make at home. Uh And so I remember being intrigued by it and finding some books at the library um, on like natural beauty when I was a teenager, but it was never like, I'm going to do this. I did tell my friends growing up, I'm going to be an herbalist one day or an herbologist, but um, yeah. Oh, that's so amazing. And I love that. I actually just wrapped up a series on the podcast about how that when we follow those tuggings of the Lord on our heart, you know, if we, he, he's there and he's walking with us and he will yes. kind of give us those desires and pull us along. And if we follow that, he'll lead us into a life of more purpose and power and impact than we could have ever imagined if we tried to plan yes. it ourselves. Right. And I it love is. that. Yes. Yeah. I love how retrospect too, like you didn't see it coming. And then once wow. it came, you start looking back going, Oh, I guess I did kind of have those little seeds along the way that God was planting. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Oh, I love yep. It. I love yep. it. Love it. Love it. So Tell me a little about the mission of MIG itself. So where the company is now and why, why does MIG exist and what does MIG stand for? Yes. MIG stands for mighty and good. Um, good. internally it's mighty and God, Amen. Amen. (laughs) Um, but for the brand it's, it's mighty and good. And, um, it's really interesting how God how God takes you from glory to glory. He takes mm-hmm. you, you know, oftentimes we think, okay, I asked God for a billion. This is what happens. I think to a lot of people and especially in the faith-based community to the believers, it's like, well, I asked God for this. Where is it? Well, I'm like, I asked God for a billion dollar idea and he didn't put me on a stage and put money in my bank account. He gave me an idea to make a bar of soap you know, and the, the, the billion dollar, the million dollar, the, the success, the, the breakthrough ideas start with a seed, you know, and, and then as we're faithful with it, he adds more and he adds more and he adds more and more and more. And so don't be, don't despise small beginnings. Don't, yes. don't despise, despise the, the tiny steps. I tell our ambassadors that all the time, you know, just keep going and don't get lost in the process because you have to keep your vision in front of you. Yes. But um, it's really interesting because it started out with a bar of soap and then it went from like soap to helping people in their, in their health with all these, you know, naturopathic products. And um, now with a social selling model, I think about how products are really just a vehicle. We always say our soap is really a, more of a gateway drug for giving people hope because <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, and I started the her effect years ago yeah. as a way, because I, I wanted to be able to give women the opportunity and, and the tools and the knowledge to do what I did in business. And so if you ask like, what's the mission of MIG, it's really like the mis- my mission on this earth is to activate people and their calling. And I feel like all these dreams that people have get shelved and they they get put aside because how can you possibly change the world when you can't pay your utility bills? And so um, with MIG, it's giving people their health back, their power and their health back. But ultimately it's, it's giving people a vehicle to have their financial breakthrough and fix the money problem so they can ultimately go out and do the thing they're called to do. Yeah. Jamie, I just, I do. I love what your company is doing and what it stands for in the community and the, the family of women that are coming together. Mm -hmm. I I guess, I guess it could be women and men. I mean, really. Right. But it's that you call it a social selling model. Is that how you guys 
how it's branded? Yes, social mm -hmm. selling. You can call it multi-level marketing, you yeah. know. Um, we used to call it relationship marketing. It's gone through different faces, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I love how you kind of shared that at first that was not what you thought the path you wanted to take the company down, right? And oh, just, yeah. Yeah. Totally. I, uh, I had been told for years and years and years, Jamie, you should start a multi-level. And it was like, no way. I would, I would never do that. And um, in my journey of just asking the Lord, how can we take this business and create the, the kind of impact I see us making? And he, he prompted me to just start doing the research and start looking into the model. And, um, and I fell in love with the business model. And wherever there's been problems in that model, it's, it's a people problem, not a model problem. And so I said yes to this, largely in part to restore an industry um, and, and do things right. You know, yeah. if we can, if we can just strip away all the crazy, you know, people nonsense and yeah. just give people something so pure that they can get their financial breakthroughs without having to have a bunch of capital, without having to have like, uh, you know, all these marketing strategies and sales strategies and, um, and history or in business or even, you know, an education. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing thing. Yeah. Oh, it's, it is amazing. And I love how your company is, it's so fun. I mean, I am, and I'll just say for my listeners, you know, I'm not a seller of MIG, but I am a consumer of some of the MIG products and it's yes. just not my calling. It's not where I'm supposed to be, but I've got friends who are selling and they're loving it. But what I love watching is how your company is based with this family, this sisterhood that I see. Um, mm -hmm. I know you guys had this big retreat in Colorado recently and my friends were there and I'm watching their Instagram because they were just, they're glowing from the inside out and it's mm -hmm. skincare is great. That's where it starts, but that is just the tip of the iceberg of the transformations that you are inspiring people to make. And mm -hmm. I'm going to head into that a little bit in a second here, but I will say that I did the shed challenge right? With my friends cool. back in November. Um, and yeah. I'm going to link to that on Facebook because it is a really cool program. And if you want to really quickly just explain, so my listeners are like, what the heck is the shed challenge? <laughs> I go out to a building in my backyard and you know, what is this? <laughs> but, so can you tell them really quickly what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yes. So I know um, people struggle in their health. They struggle in their, their you know, women have brain fog, they have <laughs> lack of energy, they're struggling with their weight and so many different things. And, um, and in my journey here with MIG and just studying what the body's capable of doing, which is, you know, our bodies are capable of healing themselves. I, uh, it's how we, you know, we formulate our products to, to just stay out of the way of the human body. And so the shed challenge is just a simple, um, it starts with the seven day challenge. Uh, we, we do a little bit of intermittent fasting. We talk about the dirty three, you know, eliminating processed sugar, processed foods and um, dairy for a, a short amount of time. And what we do is we provide some whole foods uh, recipes so that people can just experience what it would be like yeah. to unlock the body's healing potential and how good you start to feel I mean, it's amazing in such a short amount of time, the energy that people start to feel, the even the emotional, like I did this um, alive with our ambassadors this morning and I talked about this, but if you're eating, um, you know, lethargic foods, foods that yes. don't have life in them, then your yeah. body's going to be lethargic. If you're, if you're eating things that your body doesn't compute as nourishment, then it's going to get stored as toxins or as... And so anyway, it's a yeah. very simple challenge where we just help people start to incorporate basic um, like life-giving principles into their life. And they're, they're unlocking so much goodness in their bodies. Yeah. They feel oh, amazing. And I the weight loss, all the things. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and it's true. And it's not just, you know, it's not just the weight loss. It's how you feel, right? Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. seven days is very... Um, much more doable than some of the bigger chunks. You know, it's like, okay, I can bite yes. off one week, right? I can one week. And exactly. the cleansing, the not 
cleansing in the physical sense, even though that happens too. <laughs> but right. but in, in all ways, I mean, like you said, the brain fog, the energy, I mean, those are things that I've struggled extremely with. And I know that going through the seven day, even though I, I've been on a pretty clean eating probably at least 80% clean eating for a couple of years now. And it has made a huge difference in a lot of ways. But I will say that the two things that I took away from that challenge that I kept and am still doing is the green smoothie, the green uh, detox smoothie. So delicious and so easy. That's I'll awesome. Eat, oh, my husband and I both, we do it. Um, I've served it when people are here. My in-laws have been here. My parents are in here. My mother will not eat a vegetable to save her life except for like one canned green bean. Like that's about it. And, <laughs> and she drank a cup of spinach. I mean, she, I think she went home and was making some. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. So the wow. fact that she even tasted it was like huge victory. So thank you, Jamie. <laughs> that was massive. <laughs> but we, we love it. And I will say that for my listeners, this green detox smoothie, it is not something you have to buy. It is not an MIG product. It is literally, here's the list of fruits and vegetables. Go to your grocery and make it now. And I yep. love that. I love that because you have done the research in what has the Lord made, right? He made our bodies, yeah. he made the nourishment for it. So what did he make that we can put in here that's going to cause the reactions we want? Because he's already got all this process. We just need to yeah. get back to the basics of it, right? And so mm -hmm. I like that that was not um, a selling pitch. It wasn't like, buy this smoothie and this $300 powder to put in it. <laughs> you know? Right. It's yeah, not exactly. It's delicious and it's easy and it's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So I, I do recommend that. And I will link to that ep uh, not episode, that <laughs> recipe. And I love the total body detox. I, That's me. I love it. It is a herbal capsule and you may want to give a little spiel about what the total body detox is, but I will say that it's helped me with energy levels, but it, I have never felt less bloated <laughs> to be completely totally. honest. Even when eating a hundred percent clean eating diet, I have noticed the difference almost immediately by taking the detox capsules and drinking the green smoothie in the morning. What is, can That's you give amazing. a real quick intro of what that detox capsule is? Yes. It's just an, it's an herbal blend. Uh, that is completely bioavailable, which means your body just recognizes it and knows exactly what to do with it and it does its thing. But um, oftentimes people associate detox with just um, elimination or just pooping. And mm -hmm. we talk about that a lot. In <laughs> yeah, MIT you talk about pooping a lot. It's awesome. I <laughs> My son should really watch more of your videos. He would love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you, want, if you want exactly what you're talking about, Americans are bloated. Yeah. They are fatigued, all of the things. And mm. so our, our total body detox does exactly that. It, it not just helps you eliminate, it supports like your body's process and pulling toxins out of the bloodstream. Um, what usually happens is there's a toxic cycle where, you know, um, it gets dumped into your liver and kidney, and then it goes back into the colon and it goes back into the bloodstream. And then there's like a cycle of a toxic cycle. So the, the total body detox puts an end to that and helps um, you know, pull toxins from the bloodstream, and then it supports the, um, the, the kidney and the liver as they're detoxing and dumping toxins into the colon. And then what happens is these, um, these herbs are helping your body to release the toxins from the colon and eliminate. And so you do, you feel cleansed, you feel energized, you, you can lose a lot of, I mean, most people are carrying 10, 20 pounds of just waste in their colon that mm -hmm. stays there because mm -hmm. they're not eliminating property properly. We should be, should be going at least once, mm -hmm. if not twice to three times a day, every time you eat, you should be eliminating, mm -hmm. but which rocks our world and our mind in our American, especially, especially if we're on the standard American diet, right? Which the sad diet that makes a lot of sense, but, yes. but, but like you said, it's not, it's not elimination in the fact that I'm running to the bathroom every week. This is not the point of this podcast, but it's great. No. It's, and it is true. If we're not running, you know, every five minutes, oh my gosh, it's not like that. It's just almost restores your body to a more natural rhythm, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. But, so like, I'm like, I'm not selling to... this stuff. Like I'm, t I'm telling the fact, you know, this is the truth. Yes. So I, I do, I mm -hmm. encourage people to give that a try because I've, I found it helpful. I like how you do, you work with a um, naturopathic doctor, correct? Mm -hmm. these things. And I know there's yeah. a great YouTube um, or a Facebook video there on that. So I'll link up to all of those things, but you've just got a wealth of knowledge.
Okay guys, as promised, I wanna jump in really quickly and let you know about an opportunity to meet Jamie in person. If you are local-ish to Melbourne, Florida, Jamie is going to be here on May 17th. That is a Monday evening. You can sign up, there's a link in the show notes. It's an absolutely free event, but you do need to register to let us know you wanna be there. I have actually already registered myself and my daughter, and I'm really looking forward to this opportunity. And you can come learn more about the business opportunity, but also be inspired by Jamie herself as she encourages us to rise, run, and become all that we were meant to be. So check out those show notes, register for the event on May 17th. Would love to see you there. Okay, back to the show. So I'm going to switch gears just a little bit now. And kind of one of the reasons that I was, other than enjoying your products and watching your faith and your business and seeing that path and loving what you're doing, I've listened to a few of your videos, and one thing I love about all that you are doing to encourage women to live cleaner, healthier lives is how you are so good at making this goal feel attainable without giving mm-hmm. so many rules that it feels overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Your approach, it's really centered around being kind to ourselves and thankful mm-hmm. to our creator and allowing plenty of room for grace, and which mm-hmm. I think we so often need when we start to think about, we get distracted. Not God, how can I be more honoring to you? How can I be live up to the potential that you've planted in me? That should be our goal. And when we do that, and that's what we seek after, that's going to move us into paths of a healthier, cleaner lifestyle in thought and body and everything, right? But if our focus is how do I get lose weight and get healthier and look better, we take the focus off of honoring him with what he's planted in us mm-hmm. onto ourselves and we get distracted. We get overwhelmed. Satan comes in and gives us all those reasons, either that we can't do it, or we start judging ourselves compared to other people. You know, we lose focus of the main thing. Right. Mm-hmm. And I've often, I've so often heard you talk about the power of one small change. Mm-hmm. And I think that there's that whole thing of grace. I love the thought of the power of one small change. And I would love for you to speak to that. Absolutely. It, it, you know, it's important that we live our lives based on principle and too often we're looking like for the big wins and you can't have those unless you have the small actions. And so I even think about to build a successful anything in life, whether it's taking your health back, or building a business, you have to build momentum. And momentum starts with like that first crank, right? And usually you're like the first crank and then you're doing that. You're, you're, you're pushing what feels like a giant board, you know, boulder uphill. And then what happens is, as you take those small actions, there's, there's a, an uptick and there's an upswing and like some wind and, and breath of fresh air. And so it's, it's like what we talked about in the beginning, you got to be faithful in the little things you have to take the small steps. And so when you give people like this, this giant project, you know, 21 day challenge, do all these things. Yeah. Um, if you confuse them, you lose them. And, And if you, if you don't start with just the small, tiny actions. So for instance, you know, um, we talk about eliminating processed sugar. Well, it's not just eliminate sugar, it's start to incorporate more fruit. You know, when we go into this intermittent fasting that we do in the shed, I'm like, surround yourself with snacks, eat as much fruit as you want. Um, because fruit has got good, healthy sugar that your body recognizes, and it's Mm going to use it for energy. And so, um, and so it's not like eliminate sugar this month. And, you know, uh, when you start to eat more fruit, then you feel less desire for the processed sugars. Yes. yes. And so um, when you start with the small wins and taking the small actions and enjoying that process, then then you begin to make lifestyle choices that are building and you're, you're changing your, your inner wiring. When you talk about neural pathways, you know, um, you can change the way that you crave. You can change the way that your body's desiring things, but it does start with the small changes and the small wins. And so just taking those small actions. Absolutely. So how about 
the woman who, this episode is going to air the end of April, early May. So how about the woman who had a goal to get on track or back on track for 2021? Mm -hmm. And now like summer is staring her in the face and she feels mm -hmm. like she's made no progress. What would you say to her? What direction would you encourage her in? So I would establish the goal, the vision. Like for me, I have this vision of um, like getting to the healthy weight. I just had a baby. And so <laughs> I'm still like bouncing back, but establish the vision first, make the, write the vision down and make it plain. There's visions yeah. for all kinds of things. There's life vision, there's business vision, have a vision for your, um, if we're talking specifically about, you know, health or beauty, don't make it about where you're not, make it about where you're going. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and enjoy the journey of getting there. And so um, one of the things we talk about in the her effect, and I had becoming her trademarked because we're having this whole movement around just the process of becoming because it's not actually the destination that we're really getting to. It's the process of making the lifestyle choices, the process of feeling the transformation in your body that is creating lifestyle habits. And so don't worry if, if you're not there yet, because it's, and this is like, I mean, you've heard it a million times. People know the information, you know, you have the knowledge to make the right choices, but people don't because there's so much condemnation and there's so much, and the condemnation and, and law brings us to death, right? Yeah, yeah. But what's the, what's the life-giving idea here? It's, I want to, I want to um, begin, as you said, honor honor my body. I, I was talking about this a couple of weeks ago with our ambassadors I said, you know, if you, if you can imagine, like sit down and just get quiet with yourself and imagine all the things that your body does for you. It breathes without you trying. Your mm -hmm. heart is beating as you're sleeping. It's detoxing on its own. Like every time you breathe out, it's eliminating toxins. As you're sleeping, your body's detoxing. All the things that your body does to serve you to, to, to keep you alive, you know, our, our soul is what's conscious of that, but our body does so much for us that we're not even conscious of mm -hmm. start to appreciate. Like I look at my lumpy body right now, which is really what it is. <laughs> I just went shopping, um, and had to buy some bathing suits because we took our boys on an adventure. And I was like, I could have been in this place of like, oh my gosh, I went from, I went up like eight sizes after being pregnant and yeah. I've got you know, want to get back to where I am. But instead what I did, I was like, wow, my, my body has built a person. So yes. maybe you haven't gone through pregnancy. So maybe you're just like, Hey girl, I haven't been pregnant in 20 years. I just sit at a desk all day. Well, imagine the fact that you have been able to be alive, all the things that you've been able to accomplish. And so start to appreciate who you are mm -hmm. and what your body's done for you. And then, and then, um, return the the honor and the respect and the favor by nourishing it yeah. and so um just start with eating more fruit more vegetables you know replacing uh replacing your <laughs> your soda with water infused with fresh lemon you know just mm -hmm. making small choices and then what happens is um, you'll look back and I talked about this again this morning I'm like you guys realize that you can add years to your life it's not like well when you're when it's time to go it's time to go I don't believe that I believe that you can start to take your power back and so think about the kind of life you want to live I think about how I I, I remember talking to my husband a year ago and being like I want to get shredded before I turn 40 because I turned 40 last year <laughs> and he was like babe don't worry about getting shredded I want you hiking mountains with me when we're 80 and so yeah. I think about that I'm like Think about the kind of life you want to have with your kids. I'm like, I don't want to be de-energized brain fog mom who's yeah. too tired to do anything with my kids. So I honor yeah. my body because I want to create this life of energy and power. And it's not about my weight. It's not about fitting into my size twos. You know, it's about, it's about like, I can, I can be lumpy all day as long as I have energy. And, and then what happens is a natural byproduct is your body will honor yourself, honor you back mm -hmm. and it will start to shed, you know, the, the unnecessary things that it's holding on to, like fat and 
you know, sluggishness, all the things. And so just honor. Absolutely. I think that's one thing I've been, that the Lord's really been impressing on me over the last probably six months is we really should, when we, when, if we work out, but when we move and, and when we exercise or when we eat and how we eat, it should be all about loving our, ourselves, being thankful for right. what God's done instead of punishing ourselves. You know, yeah. uh, we should live in a way of how we eat and how we move and how all of that in a way of like thanking God for what he's made. Like you said, like this incredible body, we are fearfully and wonderfully made and we should do it that way, but not work yeah. out and eat in a way of deprivation and anger just to punish ourselves. Right. But be more gentle with yeah. ourselves and loving. Yes. Absolutely. Loving. Yep. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I love the detox. I love the smoothie and I'll link to those. <laughs> uh, I do. I love them. And as soon as I made those two changes, I could almost within just days tell a significant difference, even with those two, even before I started yeah. getting stricter on Amen. what I was putting in my body. Cause there's power in that and setting ourselves up for success, mm-hmm. right. Is huge because if we're like, Oh, I'm not doing sugar. Well then find something you can do because you know, you're going to want your sugar. So get some bananas, <laughs> you know, like don't exactly. not, right. That deprivation yes. does not work. And don't be like, I can't have candy bars. Be like, I can have all the fruit I want and explore with fruit and have that stuff available. If you're going to try this, Yes, it's yeah, it's easier if you've got good options around you, as opposed to just cutting things off and feeling like you're mad at yourself and you're punishing yourself, you know, think yes. of it as, as serving yourself. I love that. Um, all right. Is there anything that you want to share about the business opportunity? Yeah. You know, we have, um, people always ask us what makes you different. There's a lot of, there's a lot of opportunities out there. And I, I shifted into this whole social selling model because I wanted to, we think about the dreams and the purposes that God's put in our heart, but we need a vehicle to get there. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to create a, create something that was powerful with amazing community with, um, and we have amazing products that have been on the market for 10 years now that have been proven to create transformation. And, um, and you know, our comp plan is incredible. People who have never done this model before women stay at home moms who didn't think that they could go out and like help people in this way are, are creating so much transformation for their, for their spheres. And now they're like, wow, for the first time, I've been able to take my family on a vacation, or I've been able to increase my grocery budget, or a lot of people who aren't even looking for financial opportunities are like, I'm doing this because this is an impact thing. This is about helping people get activated and get locked. We, we talk about purpose first a lot. So, um, this comes down to what's your vision? What's your, what's your dream for your life? And let's uh, let us as MIG come in and help you. Um, get activated fully and unlock the financial things so that you can ultimately go out and do the thing that you're called to do. And so yes. we're ready to run with people. Good stuff. I'll definitely have the opportunities linked up. All of that good stuff Thank will be you. in the show notes. Thank people you. can find all of that. So we'll start wrapping things up here. If you need to grab little guy, go for it. Don't, <laughs> don't worry about that. Yeah, he's fussing, so <laughs> he's so like, cute. It is okay. Yeah. It is okay. <laughs> um, so Jamie, look, I always end these shows by asking everybody usually three questions. So number one, do you have a life verse or a verse that's really bringing you life right now? Oh, I love that question. Um, yes. As a matter of fact, I, I can't quote it without crying most of the time, but it's first Corinthians two, two, nine, where it says, yes. um, no, eye has seen and no ear has heard and no mind can imagine those things that the Lord has in store for those who love you, love him. And there I am. I'm like okay. tearing up just saying it. Um, it. It's such an amazing, um, verse. And we understand that the Bible is a living and active uh, it's not just a bunch of words on a page. Mm-hmm. Those promises of the Lord are, are there for the taking. And so I'm always setting my heart, setting my gaze upon just loving the Lord. Yeah. And he's the one that brings the increase and gives the ideas. And I put the work in and I'm like, Lord, as big as my dreams are, as much as I'm like world domination, <laughs> his dreams are bigger. And so when I get aligned with him, when I get in, in, you know, in rhythm with the Holy spirit yeah. and, um, he comes in like a flood and amplifies and he, we can't even begin to imagine what our life could look like. Yeah. 
if we just get aligned with him, you know, set mm-hmm. our gaze of love and just adoration and abiding upon him. And he yeah. does, he does the rest. Absolutely. And what is one simple or practical tip that you would share with listeners about how to intertwine their walks with the Lord in their everyday life? It could Start be funny. with abiding. Yes. yes. Yeah. Just yeah. abide in me. Let my words remain in you and you will bear much fruit. And that's where we want to be. People are trying to patch and glue and tape fruit onto their life. And they're trying to strive <laughs> I love it. For, yeah. for growth. They're trying to strive for peace and joy and strive for abundance. But the Bible says, if you just abide in him mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and let those things bear, like take root in your yeah. spirit, man, and in your inner man, and in your soul, you will bear much fruit. Yeah. And so that's what yeah. we're, that's always the focus is abiding. I love, I love it. I was doing an interview not long ago with a couple, uh, Daniel and Christina M there. I am, they have a show called the in between show and they're a couple, they're <laughs> Korean in Canada. They used to be in Nashville. They're amazing. <laughs> but we were talking about joy and mm-hmm. kind of like the pursuit of joy. However, what we narrowed it down to was people are seeking the fruit and ignoring the root, right? It's like, oh. we can't, yeah, we can't, want peace and want hope and want this and go, don't pursue peace, pursue abiding in him and fruit that, you know, that fruit just overflows that peace naturally comes that joy naturally comes, you know, so that's beautifully said. I love it. All right. And finally, um, do you have a resource that you want to make our listeners specifically aware of? Obviously all the MIG products, the business opportunity, all the wonderful things you guys are doing are out there. Is there a specific resource that you're pointing people towards right now? Yeah, you know, we're, um, we have the hereffect.com, but we're about to launch our, um, we're about to basically open up this world of, because it's all intertwined, but it's a great place to get started with being activated. Um, You know, we have incredible ambassadors who are ready to serve people. And so if if you're like, hey, I just want to start somewhere, sure, start with the hereffect.com and we'll if you're like, I really want to be part of this opportunity, we we would love to plug you in with our 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 true beauty ambassadors and get you, you know, cert, get you connected to some of our leaders because our ambassadors are incredible and and they're really good at what they do. Awesome. All right. And where can people connect with you? Yeah, I would say um, if they we have the Her Effect podcast too, and yes. so you know. Uh, that's probably the best place to start and start hearing the message and, and getting, getting that fire, that activation. All right. um, yeah. Awesome. And are you on social media? Yes. Uh, jbcross.com and the her effect. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, M I G living, you know, it's there like, you go. <laughs> like so many I things you guys like streamlined here. We're <laughs> have a lot going on right now. That's so the her effect is, is kind of like the place to start and it's going to be amplified and going live more here in the next couple of weeks. So awesome. All right, great. Well, Jamie, everything will be in the show notes and thank you so, so, so much for talking with us today and taking the time to do this as a crazy, busy businesswoman and new <laughs> mom with five boys insane. <laughs> like, really proud of you and you keep going because you, you are a bright shining star and you are impacting so many lives for generations to come. Thank you so much, Jamie. Thanks, Jenny. So great to be here. All right, guys, I hope you loved that as much as I did. Be sure to check out the show notes for the links to everything we mentioned. And there's also a special offer going on right now. MIG Living has 25% off their entire website now through Mother's Day so that you can get some gifts for Mother's Day or for yourself. (laughs) There's a code MOM. Use that at checkout and you will get that. Again, the links are in the show notes. Um, I don't get any money for doing this interview or for suggesting their products or their business. Business. Um, I think the link is a referral, so I might get a couple free products maybe if enough people buy stuff, but I'm seriously just doing this because I have really, really had a special place in my heart for Jamie, 
what she's been doing, what I've been seeing happen online, the story of her business, and the women I know personally who have gotten involved with this company, but also who just love the Lord. And their main mission is encouraging and inspiring other women. And that's something I can get behind. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Also, remember, if you want to come meet Jamie for yourself, be sure to click on the link in the show notes as well. If you want to register to come for the free event on May 17th, where you can actually meet Jamie. And again, my daughter and I will be there too. So please say, come say hi. I'd love to meet you if you heard about it on this episode. And also, please don't forget, every episode of this podcast is like a Bible study within itself. Head to the show notes for the links to every scripture mentioned or alluded to, and you will find them linked up to Bible Gateway so you can go through and do your own Bible study based on the scripture that was mentioned in this episode. Please don't forget to do that because that's really the point of everything I do here is encouraging everybody to fill their arsenal, dig into the word, because like Jamie said, it's abiding in him. That is what will bear fruit in our lives and in our families. Get in the word. So head to those show notes and find those scripture references and take time to just sit with the Lord and go through those. And last but not least, guys, I'm actually giving away three $10 Starbucks gift cards that you can enter to win super, super easy. I am really, really close to hitting the 50 five-star reviews for the Intertwined Life podcast on Apple Podcasts. To those of you who have rated and reviewed, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have done that or you haven't done that yet, here's what you can do. If you go to Apple Podcasts, if you're an Apple Podcast listener, search for The Intertwined Life, scroll down on the episode page, and at the bottom, it says write a review. You can click on those five stars, hopefully, or you can take a couple extra minutes and actually write a review, which just means so much. I love to hear those words. It's very encouraging and helps me to know people are actually listening. If you do that, screenshot your review, put it on your Facebook or Instagram stories, and tag me at Jenny Zents. I would love to see that, and that will enter you to win one of three five uh, one of three ten dollars Starbucks gift cards that I will be giving away on May fifteenth. And if you've already rated or reviewed, but you want to get in on this, totally fine. Find your review, screenshot it, tag me on social media, and I'll enter you as well. So thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will be back in two weeks. See you then. Hey friend, if you enjoyed this episode and you got some good stuff out of it, there's a few options you have. One, you could click that little subscribe button because let's be honest, who's got time to remember to check back and see if there's a new episode, right? So click that subscribe button and then when a new episode comes up, it will just by the magic of the internet pop up in your Dropbox and it'll be right there for you whenever you're ready. And also, if you would review this podcast, Oh my gosh, if you like what you heard, get on there, give it a five-star review. If you didn't like what you heard, just pretend it never happened, okay? (laughs) But if you would do um, a review for me, just take a couple seconds and do that. Not only would I be crazy excited, but also it would just be a great way for us to partner together for you to help this podcast be seen by more women out there. And you could be a part of helping more women discover these practical ways to apply God's word to just everyday stuff. So I would love it, love it, love it if you could help me out in one of those two ways.